through the ages. Hello, everyone. Blessings to you. And today is summer. It's finally here. And today is part three. Our text is found in the book of Psalms in the 34th chapter and verse 17. And the word states, the righteous cry and the Lord hears. And the Lord delivers the righteous out of all their troubles. All right. Again, summer is finally here. We've been through three years of trouble. COVID, the economy, just everything, all that we've lost. Uh, I was listening to uh, sports talk radio the other day, and they were having these uh, seminars with coaches and scouts and administration uh, folk from uh, NFL teams, baseball teams, etc. And they were talking about just the joy. The people are so happy that they get to gather again. Because over the last few years, everything's been, uh, you know, online, Zoom, and being back at the hotel again, and, and, and sitting in the restaurant, eating, talking, shop, and their excitement, which led me to, to this series of Summer is Finally Here. And I need you to apply this to your life. It's time, if you haven't already, uh, because of COVID or any other personal things on the negative thing that has happened, it's, it's, it's time now to start moving out of winter and get into summer. Okay, take that leap. Skip spring and go right from winter to summer. And it, it all begins with your thinking. As a man thinks it's in his heart, so is he. Then we've added the belief. You gotta think it and you gotta believe. And believe it before you receive it, okay? Then we've added the confession. Confession, remember I said, Confession, your words go out, leads to possession. What you speak will come back to you. Let me say that again. What you speak will come back to you. All right, you confess that summer is finally here. Summer is going to come back to you. If you confess, I can see the sunlight finally. That sunlight's going to come back to you. If you confess, the gray dark clouds are gone, the, 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 the dark gray clouds will disappear. It's going to come back to you. Okay, you notice here in 34 verse 17, the importance of us speaking and crying out to God. Okay, the next thing which is really important is that the Lord hears. And the other day somebody was telling me that God had turned his back on the earth. No, he hasn't. <laughs> If God turned his back on the earth, we'd all be dead. <laughs> no, God has not turned his back on the earth. God still hears prayer. All right? God still hears us. And this scripture says it. The righteous, and of course, the, that simply means the right standing. All of us that are born again, Christians, all right, we have a right standing with God, and when we pray, he hears be encouraged. God is not dead. God has not abandoned the earth. God has not turned his back on the earth. All right. God is still God. The Lord is still the Lord and he hears. Next it says and delivers them out of all their troubles. I'm 67 years old, soon to be 68. And I want you to know that God does deliver out of trouble. Okay. God does come God does help. God is a refuge. And this weeping, as our first couple of, of, uh, of messages, it can endure for a night, okay, days, weeks, months, but joy comes in the morning. Count on that joy and do your part by believing before you receive, confessing it, okay, before it happens, and know that you know that you no, that summer is finally here. Grab hold of this, make application 
once again, in your part, and your part is your thinking, your believing, and your speaking. All right? Believe, confess, speak it, think it. Summer is finally here. And watch and see as it manifests for you. All right? And then once you got it down and you're li living it, then you can tell others, hey, you need to watch this, uh, some messages from Pastor Harris. Summer is finally here. And then by your own outward look, by your words, they can look at you and go, okay, I see that it's working for you, isn't it? Yeah. And God is not a respecter of person. If it worked for one, it will work for the next. You have a great day.